After a violent afternoon during the Proud Boys rally on Saturday, Kalamazoo city officials held a press conference today regarding the city's actions, which led to the arrest of multiple Kalamazoo citizens and a local reporter. 13 Under Side's Kylie Amber has a recap of this weekend's events. The meeting, which lasted over an hour, was closed to the public, but certain community activists and leaders were allowed inside to ask questions, voice their concerns, as well as demands, which they did. We demand body cam footage from police officers that were at the scenes in the areas where the protests commenced. City officials began with a statement condemning the ideology of the Proud Boys and going over a timeline of yesterday's events, as well as public safety's actions. I do not and I'm speaking as well for the city commission and administration of the city in any way, shape or form support any views of the hate mongering of Proud Boys. Public Safety Chief Carrie Ann Thomas said her team was prepared for the Proud Boys rally, first hearing potential of the recognized hate group coming in July and had more than 100 officers from various jurisdictions watching over. Even though those 100 officers were not visible, we had other officers that had eyes on the event at all time in the areas from different locations throughout the city. During the event and a counter prayer vigil, violence broke out. Nine people were arrested. Thomas says she doesn't believe any were Proud Boy members. A handful of community activists and leaders were given the floor and announced concerns over the civilians who were arrested. One of those civilians was an MLive reporter, Sam Robinson, who was booked but whose charges were later dropped. Mayor David Anderson says he's asking for the city ordinance violations to be dropped for five of those arrested. The community leaders also had a list of demands that included defunding KDPS and reallocating the funds to black-led initiatives in Kalamazoo, expressing frustration in the difference of police visibility during racial inequality protests and the Proud Boys rally. Black Lives Matter protest is for the uplifting um, and humanization of black lives, whereas Proud Boys' specific agenda was here to spew hate and fear into this community. Officials say they're dedicated to learning from events like this and keeping communication open with the community. We are committed to the work that we have to do going forward, and we can only do that work together. Law enforcement says details are still coming in about the entirety of yesterday's events. As for community leaders, they are asking residents to take part in the city's commission meeting, which will happen tomorrow at 7 p.m. Here in Kalamazoo, Kylie Ambu, 13 on your side.